Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So, finally the video of it producing 10 kilowatts PP. I'll throw some carriers. It's really hot in here. Uh, I have a really long run from my house to the street, over 200 feet of wire, underground service. So, I had them upgrade the transformer on the street, but I need to upgrade the wire in the ground. Right now I have a 200 amp uh, service. Uh, with a big transformer out there, but I need to upgrade the wire. So no, no way around that right now. I'm losing about uh, about six volts when I do the carrier, three in each side of 120. This operates on 240, obviously. So this video is for everyone that's been so very patiently awaiting a video to see it in operation. I'll explain everything real quick. So took, uh, let's see, bought a... Customer got an ALS 606. First one didn't work well. It stopped working. Was it was doing about half the the uh, output that it should have been doing. Uh, the second one still doing about half. So he bought a ALS 1306. Have that set to about 600 or so. It's, it's uh, idling down there. Got the power supply up there. Customer provided a brand new 10 kilowatt slug. So the meter on the left right here showing the reflect. I forget if I have the one on the right hooked up. That's just an average reading meter. I think that's a 1kW slug. The meter on the left is a 25kW slug. Uh, I didn't perfectly tweak it, but uh, the input, but it is nice and low. Uh, I can go ahead and tweak the knobs. I'm going to put two larger knobs on it so it's easier to tweak because it's so touchy. So that's a Bird 43 up there. And I have an external line section. Which I'll show you over here. 10 kW slug. Sorry, I'm not a cameraman. I'm doing the best I can. So, this is what's called SFT 600. It's the Teflon version of LMR 600. It's rated for more power than 7 8 hardline. It's going into a RF termination electro impulse load that came from the ship to shore site down in Ocean Gate, New Jersey. There's a lot of big resistors in here. I forget how many, around 30. And uh, one and five eighths flange connector. So you can see the wire. My soldering iron. See, it comes over here. It goes over here. Follow it going this way. It goes up to the meter, okay? So the internal line section is disconnected on that. Okay, so now we have a dual element line section between the driver and the 6000. Got the 25 reflect slug pointing the opposite direction and then the forward slug 1kW, okay? So, labeled everything with label maker. Look at my my I got the 100 amp breaker, the number two cord that powers the amp, the 6000 amp going right into 100, right into the breaker at the top of the bus, and then I have the customer's ALS 1306 connected to another 240 breaker with some test leads. Don't try this at home, okay? Um, I'm not set up over here yet for big power testing and stuff, so you know if there's a will, there's a way, but don't do this, okay? I know I, I've been doing this a long time, and uh, it's very dangerous, so there's the power supply. So I'm going to go ahead and show you 10KW PEP. I'll throw a couple big carriers for you, okay? So got a brand new Pentalabs 36-6000 up in there. And I uh, got the plate current meter, grid current meter, DC plate voltage. It's gonna be hard to see the meters. I'm gonna have. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to take it off the tripod. I know you guys are always like, hey, I'll put it on a tripod. Why is it so, so uh, shaky or whatever? But actually, I'm just gonna leave it. Let me just put it on for now. Actually, I'm just gonna take it off and start everything up first. So turn that on. Radio is on. I have a foot pedal right now for the driver and a foot pedal for the big amp. I'm just going to do this with it not on tripod. Zoom out a little bit. 
it is set up so the driver can be keyed by the big amp. I just don't have it hooked up yet. I don't have the it connected there, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and key the driver and the big amp. Audio hello, audio hello, audio hello, hello, hello. Audio hello. Okay, okay, okay. Hello, 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 hello. Audio, see the light dimming in the background? Audio hello. Audio, hello, hello, hello. Audio, hello, 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 hello. Audio, hello. Show you the line voltage drop. Measuring it on an outlet, a separate circuit. Zoom in. Sorry, guys. Audio hello, 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 audio hello, 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 hello. It drops a lot when I throw a big carrier. So that's an average reading meter, not peak. But you'll see I'll throw a big carrier real quick. Turn it down, let's see. Down FM. Turn the mic gain down here. Uh, actually all the way. Either the driver and the big amp. Okay, show the line voltage drop Put on the carrier. Unkeyed. Keyed. Unkeyed. Keyed. The kit is off. I'd have to turn it up in here for true 10k. It's like a needle with thunder. What? The line voltage drop. So everything's working as it should. So the transformer has a 240 tap, but I don't want to start up too high working perfect. He's going to operate SSB CW. I like the voltage where it's at. No point in pushing it. So, I give a lot of credit to my buddy Jim, VE7RF. He helped me out a lot throughout this whole project. Another guy, uh, down in uh, New Mexico gave us some info. We didn't end up having to use any of it, but we really appreciate all of his help uh, over the phone a couple days ago. Uh, we were going to change some of the capacitors out underneath, but everything worked out, so we didn't have to. But I am so glad this is done, and it is so hot in here. I'll show you. There you see. There is the temp. It's hot. <laughs> the bottom one right here hey and I don't have AC down here so I am very sweaty so thank you all for staying tuned uh, for I mean for for keeping up with all this and actually I want to show one other thing <clears throat> so this is this I have to label them I have the labels over there standby operate and this controls the static flight current one setting, it's about 50 milliamps. Unkey it. Just under 200 right there. Okay, so you can go from one to the other. I am so happy this is done. So, so happy. So, next will be a 80 through 15 meter 3x6. So, thanks again. The website is ampreparguy.com. Phone number is 203-892-4119. That's 203-892-4119. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. 73.